Okay, so what's going on? My name is Luis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is December 16, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Prix News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, a bare nuclear power submarine has slipped through Great Britain's defense perimeter unseen and reached the Iris port of Cork, successfully carrying out a complex operation to record targets and weaknesses of the British Navy. All right, so once again, guys, the Bears making their move. And uh, I just posted a video not too long ago about Finland. Now, you guys already know, Finn has uh, opened the door to the sleeping giant and gave them 15 base we're talking about bases here and uh yeah it's getting really hot now uh once again it says what did the bear create uh the bear submarine re remain an iris port for days past defense perimeter and locked on british targets all right guys before i start give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends family so loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get to access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform also i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box and for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me luis santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 346 Six, nine, one. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. Also, I got some videos over at the Real GS News. It has not been uploaded yet because it's being reviewed. Again, you guys already know what's going on in that channel. All right, so I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you so much for your support. Your support truly helps out. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, without you, I, I, again, it, it just... You know, it would be really tough for me just to, uh, just to make videos. All right. So thank you so much for the love and support. So it says here, if the incident had taken place during a time of WAR, the Bear submarine could have leveled British cities and closed the remaining British ships in their ports. Hmm. Now, during the operation, the Bear submarine was accompanied, as it turned out later, by a civilian vessel. It was probably cloaked uh, the Bear Sight Island intelligence gathering vessels that scanned the surface and provided some sort of cover for the Bear submarine to avoid detection. Uh, detection. Now, some of these subs... Uh, some of these subs are really hard to detect. Uh, again, the Bear submarines, uh, I mean, they just, you know, camouflage. Sometime NATO and the Sleeping Giant, they lose track of, uh, of the uh, Poseidon or other submarines. Now, these subs, uh, they go deep, really, really deep. And sometimes satellites' images uh, can capture it. So uh, this, uh, this sub could be right in front of Florida, California, New York. I mean, it could be in various places. And uh, that's, that's one thing that the sleeping giant fears, a Poseidon, a submarine that could cause a massive tsunami 1,440 feet high. That's, uh, that's brutal. All right, so it says here perhaps the bear tested some new electronic warfare device on the battlefield and that's because the bear submarine was spotted with a long delay of the coast of ireland while nobody knows for sure how long it remained hidden in specific area cork harbor has been a strategic defense hub for centuries now this is a great british case All right, we're gonna skip that one. So the Bear nuclear power sub in Irish port. Now in more detail, the Bear submarine was spotted at the entrance to Cork Harbor 
Cork Harbor is a natural harbor at the mouth of the River Lee in County Cork, home to the port and headquarters of the Irish Marine Time Service. Now the sub SS when spotted was outside the 12 mile limit, so it did not break any international law. But military sources said similar incidents of the Irish coast are becoming more common. Well, the beast is out there. The beast in the sea. So describe incidents happened six months ago. You have British military sources said that the bear were probing Britain, uh, Britain's defense system as they realized London is vulnerable on its western side. The Irish Navy does not have sonar on the two ships still operating, which remains, excuse me, which means they cannot detect the submarine. They cannot detect the submarine. Didn't British spot it? Well, it says here the Bear submarine was accompanied by a ship registered in the Bear as a civilian and research vessel. As it was later revealed, the Bear vessel was carrying out surface surveillance operation. Now, this ship raised the suspicion of the Irish military, but they themselves were unable to verify their submarine theory. That's why they asked for reinforcement. Mm. A helicopter was immediately dispatched and dropped sonar equipment into the water. The operation lasted several hours. A little later, an anti-submarine frigate of the British Royal Navy was sent to monitor the movement of the bear sub. <laughs> Man, they really, really... uh keeping an eye on the bear, even in international water. So as a result of these movements, it was confirmed that the bear Navy sub was there, but had already left the area. Man, you guys were late to the party. Um, so during the period from the 1960s to the 1980s, almost all ships in the Irish Navy had sonar and the ex-flagship uh, Lay Ethne had one until the 1990s, when she was discommissioned and no longer replaced. The Ministry of Defense has confirmed that there are plans to supply the Navy with equipment. However, the department did not say how much this equipment will cost and did not give a time frame for when it will uh, be integrated into our ships, he concluded himself. The Bear have always excuse me, the bear, have also been testing British air defenses of the Irish coast in recent years, again, knowing that Ireland lacks the fighter jets to track down even the old, you know what, TU-95s. Ireland had a vampire aircraft until 1950s. All right, so we're going to skip some of this stuff here. Hold on, give me a second. The bear have targeted Ireland again. This is not the first time that the bear have targeted Ireland. So once again, a year ago, the Irish uh, Gov was informed of a major bear Navy and Air Force exercise in the Atlantic Ocean, just 150 miles of the country's coast. Now, the exercise will take place in full force in international territorial waters of the coast of County Cork. Immediately, the Irish Civil Aviation Authority issued a no tom as the exercise would take place 240 kilometers from the south west coast and within 220 nautical miles of Ireland's ex exclusive uh, economic zone. This is a very clear message from the bear towards the European powers. There we go. NATO. The spot that the British speculate was the bear submarine. Man, that was really close. That was really close. All right, so 
again, that's where we at right now. This big monster is uh is being watched. And like I said, this big monster here is uh is a whole different ball game. I do believe this here, these monsters here was uh was built for the Atlantic and the Pacific. In the center, you guys know who it is. So once again, um incredible British case what raised the suspicion of the British. So once again, uh the Bear submarine remained in Irish port for days. All right, guys, I'm going to keep it updated in these uh, nation against nations. But uh, again, uh, you do have the bear that's, um, you know, flexing its muscle and letting them know, hey, you guys are building up. Uh, we're going to build up, too. Uh, this thing right here will literally take out a lot of stuff out there uh, in the sea. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.